what's up guys this is the Royfoman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Bavaria and in this episode uh, we might actually be able to knock out the entire 13 colonies because lots of their territories are either um, under siege or can, will soon be under siege or within striking distance of our forces and we're going to fight this battle uh, manually because we don't want to damage the army in Williamsburg and we do have an actual force somewhere there it is which is the garrison of Annapolis. But we are going to annihilate them because they have a pretty weak force. So let's crack on and take them out. And this will quite badly damage their forces in the current southern empire, southern section of the empire of the uh, 13 colonies. And yeah, so these are the forces that will, once we beat the 13 colonies, they're going to head west into Native American lands. We've already got troops to the south, we've got troops to the north. But once you take out the 13 colonies, then it's largely going to be native troops all the way to victory. But nevertheless, we have to win first, and this is beautiful, but we are going to be impacted by uh, where the reinforcements come in. So I'm going to form a line just directly ahead of the guns just to provide some protection. Something like that will do. Because he will fire over our heads. Then let's just group our infantry together as a bit of a reserve. We don't know where the enemy's coming in from. Good stuff. Then we've also got... Just make sure we're doing this. Okay, let's get our cavalry up. general behind the lines set the howitzers up probably here okay so the enemy is going to be coming in from a predict from more predictable directions so we can push our line forward and bring our reserves to bear Cavalry can advance. You're going to get them perfectly timed. How it may kill some guys? No, apparently not. But the 14th Regiment, uh, whoops. Did not mean to right click. I bumped my uh, hand against my boom mic. But yeah, the main army looks like they're coming in from back here. Because they're the ones that have the artillery, I believe. No, they have artillery as well. We have to wait and see. As it stands, they're the only thing within range before the, this enemy cavalry comes into play. See if we can pro provoke them into the attack. You men go after the light horse, you men go after. can't go after anything yet. We will be pushing up. Make sure the Freikor um, are up front. So we don't kill too many of our own guys. The howitzers, you guys can limber up and push forward. Yeah, they're going after my Freikor, which is what I, not necessarily what I wanted, but it means that they can get their volley off. As the artillery comes in. Retarget the guns. 
get the guns just to start engaging individual units and not overly bother to get my heavy cavalry in get my line to run up before we lose ground there we go perfect the enemy guns are opening up we're not overly concerned about the enemy artillery we're going to keep advancing that's going to put the enemy or we're going to effectively every time we push back or we get an enemy unit to break we're going to slowly creep up so as they push forward they're going to get within range of our get within range of our line and then you guys push up the flank you guys push up you guys push push into 58 Retarget the guns. We go after the light horse. Just need to wait and see where the enemy, <laughs> where the main army is coming in from. We can break the seventh. That would be handy. Probably call going to be re a reloading, although ceasefire, too late. Didn't kill, didn't lose many. Okay, keep the line squeaking forward. It appears that that's where the enemy forces, the bulk of the enemy army is coming in on the right. So is my Val Dragoons and my heavy cavalry. Pull my cavalry back because I don't want to lose any easily. Get my artillery to focus on that flank because that's where the bulk of the enemy is. is organizing itself we can't do counter battery yet oh, let's be a bit bold good hits good hits if we can knock out the Ooh, I didn't realize some of you guys have fireable off. All of you. My mistake. If we can knock out the 71st. Excellent, we can. Really quite aggressively push up. I mean, co frankly, commit the. Commit my cavalry. The artillery doesn't have anyone to shoot at, really. Do you want my my light cavalry to make sure the infantry is shattered? My heavy cavalry. Well, there we go. Heavy, heavy cavalry do the same. Yeah, that's that's quite a devastating withdrawal. Push my cavalry in because they're all storming towards the same objective. General could get some kills, but frankly, everyone's done for anyway. Now it's the job of the cavalry to wipe out the remaining troops. Where's my Frey Corps? Make sure their fire at will is off. Which it is. Smash the militia. Here comes some more of their troops. So our getting this. Oh, hello. 
into units up here. Let's see if any more units come in from this area. Give you an order to just engage them. Give the 16th an order just to hold the line in case anyone else respawns. Yes, they are respawns. Okay, let's pull my cavalry back. Do not want to lose a bunch of them needlessly. If the cavalry pushes on, our infantry will block them, but the objective will be the objective will be to form a killing field, which my infantry can exploit. My cavalry are too precious; we must keep them. Cohen Zollen form up on one flank. Okay, there we go. So now we've got an enemy got a killing field now for their infantry. Hopefully they do engage the infantry, which means they'll fire by rank rather than... Come on, men, they're engaging you! Form up. Horns all go for the regiment. There we go. Send some men to mash up the 16th regiment to the rear. So we're not going to get explicitly many kills doing this because they're going to route too quickly. Um, but I think we can accept that. Hey, this guy was about to route, but because we right clicked to attack, he came back. Nice. Come on, get him. Got him. As far as that theory is concerned, yeah, you've got them. Yeah, but now it's all down to my guys being able to load and fire as quickly as possible. And it's things like they'll aim for this unit, because they're the ones that aren't routing, which means they'll fire through these routing units, which is always nice. At least I believe that's how the division of labour is being is organised. Your your uh, infantry will always try to focus on, you know, once they've when they break a unit, they'll stop their drill and then reload, and then they'll target a unit that's currently not routing, unless like now where everyone's routing, in which case they'll keep firing. I have no reason to uh, say that's a hundred percent true. It's just something I've observed over. Long, a long time um, playing this game. So we managed to get nearly a kill ratio of 10 to 1. Underst understanding my cavalry up front did a really good job, but so is my infantry. Excellent. So back you guys go. All these depleted armies just being scattered back into the hills. Open. Come out. So this force at Williamsburg can push on. Let's recruit some colonial line. You can actually push on to... Okay, let's hold. Move you away. Because ideally... You will... Because the enemy force is so small, I can auto this without needing to demolish the 2nd Army. You guys go after Paul Hartley. Yeah, just auto them. Excellent. So you want to keep up the pressure just in case we don't take them out as early as we'd like. Get some native troop, because why not? You're holding... Well, you're ready to jump on Savannah. You're all going to be ready to push against the Cherokee. And try and cut off this flow of reserves. You are going to keep recruiting. 
and building. You're going to hold. You guys can't push. You're nearly in range. You're demolishing. You're sieging York Factory, that's okay. You've got to be ready to be attacked, no doubt. So, the smart way to do this, now we've got Annapolis, is take Franz Lauter, siege Philadelphia, but not attack yet. Then use Heinrich Erlanger to attack Percival Lucas and his detachment of weak marines. Because if we do this, we... By sieging the, the garrison at Philadelphia, they can't come to their aid. And if we attack these guys first, we can fight the siege without worrying about reinforcements. And then it comes down to attacking Philadelphia and attacking Albany. So let's destroy this force of marines. Which should not take long because the uh, 13 colonies have lost quite a lot of men. Because they are unable to support such a large force. Which is nice to see. Because usually the AI is able to cook the book somewhat and what you notice is the AI is able to support disproportionate amount of forces which I do I do kind of get because they you've got to try and provide some oil to the human player it was very briefly snowing I understand them getting that leg up compared to the human player especially the smaller nations because then they can't even um, they can't even then stand against other AI nations rather than the human player. But we're going to push up. We're not going to assault. We are just going to engage them with musketry. And we're not even bothered about chasing them down either because in two siege battles they will be done. Let my artillery do what it wants to do. The general push up. Yeah, counter battery right off the bat, which is fine. But the core of their army, well, it's supposed to be some like some kind of marine brigade. We haven't deployed efficiently out, but I don't think that's going to matter. Let's use my howitzers to pick out their cavalry. That's provoked an assault. So if I make them attack the marines, that stops them from attacking. They're being killed by this collateral damage for the counter battery fire anyway. Right, let's bring you man drop into square. They may go for you because you're technically vulnerable, but not really. Everyone just push up. The, the light cavalry will go down. You see, we brought the tenth light hussars back just in case. You may are upset you're being engaged, but you can't fire back. But you will soon. There goes the enemy cavalry. So let's exacerbate this problem. <laughs> Get them to redeploy. Brico cavalry push up. They engage the general's bodyguard. Okay, let's rely on my cavalry around the enemy rear areas, get our artillery to stop firing. It's poor unit of marines. Warm up, grenadiers. You are being fired upon. Massars go for the colonial light cavalry. Kill their general, sir. Now they must break. The 
you might go for the demi cannons. Okay, you might push up. Actually, my Freikor cavalry just get here and start shooting. We're running through some enemy marine units here, causing even more damage. Charge forward to help my light cavalry. Who are you going to shoot at, fellas? This unit of marines. Including my own grenadiers. I will accept the friendly fire. Although you guys do want to have guard mode on. The, 20, the poor 21st, they'd be the only unit standing. But everyone else... Yeah. That was... Almost preordained. Very, very nice indeed. So let's keep pushing on. Heinrich Erlangen. Let's save Philadelphia to the end. Wolfgang Tobelmann. Attack the garrison here at Albany. Then we need to reorganise our front line, make sure everyone's replenishing, and then make sure that we are plugging all the gaps and the enemy forces aren't able to um, flank around the sides and infiltrate through any gaps. Let's see. This should be fairly simple because it's a oh, and it's perfect terrain for our army. Hillary, engage whoever you like. And the rockets will engage whoever they like. Attrition be damned. Broad front movement. I felt yeah, you go fight will off for the start. Just put all my cavalry on right, one flank because we're being we're gonna butt up against. Actually, no, you're okay. Okay. Storm up, felt Jaeger can storm up and also be involved in the line. Rocket artillery, prepare for bombardment. I do like when the rockets go. Just they're going after the enemy artillery. As is tradition, but when they see us storming over the hill towards them. Oh, hey, enemy cavalry. Drop into square. Yeah, because they clip the 15th, they're going to attack them, but everyone else just push forward. I want to push forward just a little bit more. Just to get over the crest of the hill. You guys can stay where you are for now, until... 23rd clears out the enemy cavalry. Mortars are doing damage to us. There we go, everyone else is getting ready to fire. Take out the 26th light horse please, please and thank you. You men storm up, join the line. The enemy cavalry is going to make it to our line, we're going to back them up. Massive, massive retreats already. Get my heavy cavalry in to attack their general. There goes their cavalry anyway. We've got one organization massing here. It's the Worcester Regiment. That's the 67th Regiment of Foot. We're going to go for the Colonial Light instead, because both of these cavalry units together should be able to mash them up. We can push forward. Charge! Down the hill. Let's 
such slaughter. Danger close rocket artillery fire. My marines aren't appreciating it. Make sure you guys go like this so you avoid this engagement. You men form the line. Get the howitzers to focus on the flank. General form up, up on top. Ah, oh, the 16th, you're being engaged point blank range. They're trying to defend their gun line. Excellent. This cavalry wing go for the 22nd Regiment of Militia. Another rocket artillery salvo. Retarget the howitzers. My horse guards pursue and destroy their unit. The unit that's retreating. Actually, are they going to run down my guys? Ah, oh, they're okay. Everyone's engaging the 8th. Enemy General does not like this one bit. He is out of here. Yep, yeah, there's large scale retreats. Poor devils. I don't think they had a chance. Bill Jaeger, warm up. Get my crossier out of the way rapidly. Because of that. <laughs> Actually, you may go for the general's bodyguard. Everyone go for the general's bodyguard. Let them know what it means to stand against the Bavarian Empire, especially when we conquer all of Europe and all of India. He almost made it. <laughs> no, he's hovering though. Yeah, he almost made it. Killed their general. Yeah, New York is ours. Marines up top. Nice. Okay, you men need to replenish quite badly. You are now viable to push up to here everyone else is good we've got just got the final action brands lauter against the garrison in philadelphia they have no mortars we have good guys let's take philadelphia and that will be the end of the 13 colonists and then it's storm through the rest of the uh, the rest of the map and destroy the native americans uh, we have armies, the armies up in the northwest and the southwest will converge once their objectives have been met to uh, attack the to attack the uh, Plains Nations peoples. Other than that, I believe the end is very much nigh. The last conventional force that stands against us is probably going to be the Louisianans that have any sort of strength. So, you're one set of, you're one breaching company, you're another breaching company. Three units are going to flank around the right, three units are going to flank around the left. One unit's going to storm up and try and capture here. Cavalry in Franz Lauter will have no rule. Please quick climb the centre. Kill the cavalry. Shells away. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, let's speed up time. So we're knocking down 
this section of the wall. It will take a bit longer because we haven't got a massive battery. Um, but we will be able to do it nonetheless. Especially when they're going after the Grenadiers on the flank rather than trying to engage the actual guns that are doing the damage. So let's just target my howitzers again. Because we've effectively annihilated what we can reach in the center. Yeah, once we make a breach, we'll start advancing. 46%. They could do a lot of damage here. <laughs> yeah, they did do a lot of damage here. Mm, just keep engaging. Just keep on doing damage. Yeah, once we yeah, once we get a breach, the breaching companies will push up, so will the flanking companies. Their fire will be diverted to here. Open up a second breach, although I don't really think we're going to need it. They are massing here, which makes sense, because this is where the bulk of the... Well, this is where the most immediate threat's coming from, but all the collateral damage from the howitzer fire is going to wipe out four whole units of infantry in in imminently. 3% left to go. Just get the howitzers to engage whoever they like. Assault companies, run. Flank companies, run. Artillery, engage this section of the fort. Although our flank companies may push up and start adding pressure from a different direction anyway. Yeah, you men engage in this section. It's got the Gurkhas are going to storm through the breach and take Philadelphia. Encouraged, because the general is alive. That's always good. Clone your line, clone your line. Lots of weak units. So one of you storm the gate, one of you storm this bastion, one of you storm this section of the wall. I mean, the Gurkhas are going to take the lead. And the Grenadiers are going to support them. But the guns are giving them orders to engage here. Oh, and they need them again. They're only 12 pounders, so... To make our Gurkhas walk the last distance. Just to recover a bit of their stamina. New men are going to do the same thing. One unit attack here, one unit attack in the Bastion, another unit. Attack the gate. Go get them, Gurkhas! And my Grenadiers are going to wait their turn. So to bring my General up here as well. That's not what I wanted to happen at all. Twist around shot. Engage. This enemy unit in the centre. As far as Gurkhas are concerned. They're doing a tremendous job. There you go, that's that provoked them. You men form square. Because then that will safeguard the assault. Good. Okay, but now I might push my grenadiers in. 
because they're going to try and match them with marines. There's colonial like pushing out, also likely to also try and attack these guys. Okay, there we go. That's the chug. Chug is real. Okay, let's see if I can. If I pull back one unit of marines, does that stop it? Well, marines, grenadiers. Yeah, you men are going to attack. Attacking that native foot unit. I may give them an extra bit of support because native units are a bit uh, spicy. I want to give him some support. But I think the big thing is going to be if these guys can get up here, and actually if I give them an order, a different deployment order on the wall, they should spread out. So rather than stacking up on two lines, they're going to work out the shortest distance is actually through a different way in. So let's run some guys over just to take the, uh, take the gate. This colonial line unit is trying to engage us. Excellent, you men get in. We don't really mind that those auxiliary are trying to kill us. You men just charge off the wall and engage the 20th. You don't have to stand for that. But what I want to see is these guys mount the fire step and shoot into the combat because the marines are going to bog this down somewhat. So these men form a line here. The same as what we did here. Give these guys a new order to position on the wall so these guys spread out a bit more. And the chug is real. It's usually when you've got lots of comp, especially around the breach, because it's trying to <laughs> manage all that. But the more people that die, the easier it gets. It should get a bit easier once these guys mount the fire step because they're going to shoot some fellas in the back. you're going to engage. Engage the 11th foot guards, preferably. There will be a bit of fratricide in this sort of thing, but uh, it's usually okay. Good shots. And look at that. It's caused a lot of wavering. These fry core, they're waiting on hands to finish loading. Hands and friends. So from here, you guys can engage both the 6th and the 2nd, although the 2nd should also be under fire from my howitzer force. Although you guys may get off the wall. Don't get involved in the melee, although you guys have actually ceased fire. Right, well, off and then back on. Take your positions up again. So you men engage the sick. You men just base the second specifically. Somehow they've killed some of my men over there. Let's just get them off the wall. There we go. So that's what that can happen <laughs> when you shoot into the breach like that your guys get very upset. Mm. 
Human attack the sick. Human attack the breach from the rear. No. Grenadiers, where are you going? Fine. I'll just make you run into the breach then if you're going to be silly. Push in. The Gurkhas may come back. Maybe. There they are. Advance up behind the breach, but hold. Charge the Marines in the rear. Okay, these might have been engaged by a power supply and fire at will. The chug is back on. But eventually they should crack. Actually, attack the Hessian... Actually, no, attack the Bowmen first, because they're in limited numbers. You men, run. Don't walk, run. There's one Bowman back here. He does not want to get involved. Take him out. You men charge towards the breach. Only seven men. They're holding on spectacularly well. They're down to five. Their officer's still alive. Down to four. There we go. So, yeah. You apply enough pressure in enough places at once, eventually they just crack. Collective morale gets too low. Excellent. But there, that's Philadelphia captured, and that is the United States, the United, the 13 colonies rather, annihilated. So let's make sure all of our ducks are in a row. Make sure everyone that can replenish is replenishing. So you're replenishing. Williamsburg is recruiting troops for a garrison if we need one. Uh. We've got you. Okay, what I might do is I might push my boat down to here. So they, if they want to try and push into Montreal, they have to go through here. Uh, you can, yeah, you can auto an initial engagement against the against the Iroquois. Reinforce. Uh, back at Quebec, let's get some. Reinforcements, just in case. But I think that's near as damn it everything. So, let's get a couple of sloops. Got a proper fleet here that's no longer really going to be needed. It's only the Louisianans that have a fleet that can actually put to sea. You're nearly at Antigua. You're still building. You guys are pushing up to Santa Fe. You guys are pushed up a Louisiana, to be honest. We've got three armies down here. That should be enough. In a good defensive battle, that should be enough to kill all of these guys. You might position ready. For, the, for a follow-up engagement. Let's lose two units... Actually, use a, lose a unit of militia and a unit of colonial line. And pick up some howitzers. It'll take a bit of time, but I'm not anticipating an immediate war against the Cherokee. And if we do, they are heavily at risk. So you're pushing up towards Fort St. Marie. You're going to siege them at York Factory to try and... Actually, let's deposit my... Agent here, just get them, get him on the way to Yankton. This fleet is unnecessary. Let's 
suppose the only place I can really send him is Antigua. It's not really necessary. So, just hold off of Boston, <laughs> off of the coast of Philadelphia, I mean. Let's get all the infrastructure upgrades on the go. Good. Get some upgrades. I don't mind if they tear them down. Nice. Okay, let's hit and turn and see how the enemy responds. Will Louisiana seek battle? Big mistake, because now we're going to jump on New Orleans. Do we want peace? No. <laughs> there will never be peace, New Spain. You have two territories to take, and we're going to take one of them <laughs> um, this turn. I mean, you can send troops out to raid if you like. We have enough troops to uh, conquer all your cities. And then your raiders. Ooh, okay, we're being attacked by the Huron. Fine. They want to be offensive, they can be offensive. Sorry, I'm a bit distracted because there's some birds in the tree outside and I don't know what they are. Nah, no, he's flown away. Right. <laughs> Sorry, I do like my wildlife. Um, okay. Let us... I'm going to put... So we've got a horse, heavy horse guard artillery. They're going to be behind our line. We're going to deploy regular foot artillery in the line. So you deployed. I mean, this is a significant amount of firepower to bring to bear. Although actually, we're going to i try and put two units in between each. Artillery piece, we're going to run out. So we need to put you guys out on the flanks. Put a Jaeger in front of each artillery piece. Place stakes. I, mean, I do... I have, I have uh, uh, developed a new appreciation for ranged cavalry. Any the rockets, shoot at whoever you like. Oh, this is... Improved rocket troops. We get extra two extra launchers, I think. And how it says can just buy a round shot for now. So the first thing to do is get my hold on to my Jaeger. Play stakes. Let my artillery shoot at whoever they want. And it's gonna be this Native American Lance unit, I suspect. Then they're going to push out onto the flank. You've got trees to navigate around. Rockets away! They might have better range as well, I suppose. That's really quite far. I think you guys better shuffle backwards a bit because you're struggling to deploy not within shrapnel range they're a bit close and I'd like for stakes it was, I would usually like a bit of depth do they're going to be in range. Trap, roll the shot. They're not charging. Good hits. Good old quick climb. Some canister 
shot at charging my light infantry, maybe. But now they're within range of my. We can break them before the. There we go. Break them before they damage my stakes. That would be ideal. Oh, these poor Native American lances. My Jaeger going to open up on them. My Chevalier are going to open up on them. They didn't even make it. To be honest, I may make my howitzers just keep quick climbing down the axis of the enemy advance. You may get a charge off, and that's completely fine. But at what cost? Mounted tribal gunners can also try and engage if they want to. You men are going to get hit by this regiment of foot. Break off attack. <laughs> okay, we can probably stand to push this wing of my line up a bit. Bring my cavalry back. Too late, they're going to be hit by the lancers. They're going to have to engage them. Bring my heavy cavalry over. Actually, let's target my quick line. He was very mean, but may lose a few cavalrymen. Rockets away! Who are you shooting at? Someone right at the back. Shoot a medicine man. A couple of kills. Not bad. Not quite sure why you're retreating because you don't. You don't have. See, this is odd behaviour. It's not a different. Get in on the attack, you man. Pivot. Bring another horse guard unit up. We climb away. They want to pull their cavalry away, I'll pull my cavalry away. What are you? Bowman? Bowman. Smash him. You go cease fire. Retarget my howitzers. Pull my heavies back. Fire at will. Kill those damn native lances. Got a few more kills. Okay, good. Pull back. Canister shot. my guns, but my gunners weren't taking that lying down. Let's 
He-Man smashed the this warrior society. You may be impetuous, but you're gonna lose men so quickly. Carbines up. Yep, I fear that is. You go after the medicine man, you men go after the warriors. Well, no, they're coming back. Pursuing the Native American troops can be a bit dicey. What ends up happening is uh, they suddenly come back and jump one of your cavalry units and before you know it they've taken a lot of damage. These men go for the medicine men. Actually there's no reason I shouldn't make you guys do something. Bowmen are moving up to support the medicine men. Come on, 133. I'm going to say, at what point do they. How many men do they need to lose before they realise it is futile? Probably as many as you guys need to understand via the bayonet charge. Make sure all the artillery is fireable off. Light infantry cease fire. Have a duel. You, you people are fi fighting for a dying idea. continue and let's get my general involved okay, let's go after those bowmen I mean, most of these units are going to successfully retreat But just in case there's any follow-up actions, this should make them a little bit easier. Good, good. Now they know what it means to be under the boot of the Colonials. And we didn't lose many men either, so we can jump on their city quite easily. And at York Factory they didn't sally either, so we could actually be on for a... Destroying the hero on this turn. Team men. You're gonna be ready you're gonna be ready to put them to the sword. I mean there's gonna be lots of fights here because you Antigua is now within range. Santa Fe will soon be in range, but a delay is okay because you've still got to replenish. You're on your route to Upper Louisiana. If you men put New Orleans to siege, that's going to be a good fight. But then that'll be Louisiana destroyed, and then we can surround it. Well, then it will just be the Huron, Iroquois, the Cherokee. Oh, this is just going to be a mess. You're not in range of Cayuga yet. You could be, but you're not going to do that. You're going to first break their buildings. You're going to advance into the, this valley here, potentially exposing yourself to ambush. You're going to try and push through here. Okay, let's get out there. Get the building done. Seminary, seminary. Good, good, good. Cruise. 
We bring the light of industry and reason to these new places and new peoples. We do not seek to be punitive. We want what's best for everybody, and what's best for us is the best for everybody now. I mean, this is a bit unnecessary now because I am not anticipating any great uh, resistance to us or any ups. Up, or s no enemy is going to suddenly pop up and cause us problems. Uh, but yeah, probably looking at the timer, going to end the episode by knocking out the Huron first. Well, yeah, start the next episode rather by knocking out the Huron. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the death of the Huron. Well, see, after this, it'll be the death of the Huron. See you next time, everyone. Mm -hmm.